Welcome to our comparison video on switching from 285 70 to 245 75 The diameter difference between these tire sizes is 3.8%, exceeding the acceptable 3% range. Therefore, this interchange is not recommended. If you still want to switch, adaptations such as leveling or lift kits may be necessary to prevent issues like rubbing or clearance problems. The decrease in diameter by 1.24 inches of the 245 75 will reduce the vehicle's ground clearance. This reduction can make it easier for the vehicle to scrape or be damaged on obstacles or rough roads but could also result in a higher speedometer reading. Switching from 285 to 245 reduces the width by 1.57 inches. This narrower tire might offer better fuel efficiency and improved performance in snow and ice conditions. However, it may also result in less stability and traction compared to the wider tire, especially in off-road scenarios. The sidewall height decreases by 0.62 inches when switching to the 245 75 The smaller sidewall height might offer a smoother ride on highways and city streets but can reduce impact absorption, leading to a less comfortable ride on rough terrains. With the smaller 245 75 tires, the speedometer will read slightly higher than the actual speed. For example, at a speedometer reading of 20 miles per hour, the actual speed will be 19.24 miles per hour. Based on our observation, switching to 245 75 from 285 70 offers mixed benefits and shortcomings. The smaller tire enhances fuel efficiency and performs better in adverse conditions like snow and ice. However, the reduction in width and diameter may negatively affect off-road performance, traction, and ground clearance. This switch may be more suitable for daily driving on paved roads than for rough terrains. While on-road benefits include better handling and potentially lower fuel consumption, off-road performance could suffer due to decreased stability and impact absorption, 